क्वालिटी इंप्रूवमेंट इन मैथ एजुकेशन प्रोजेक्ट वीडियो बेस्ड पीपीटी प्रेजेंटेशन टॉपिक नेम ऑफ प्रेजेंटेशन दैट इज द लीनियर इक्वेशन माय नेम इज नागेश शंकर वांगकर एंड रजिस्ट्रेशन नंबर इज ए जीरो सिक्स फोर माय स्कूल नेम इज श्री सारंग स्वामी विद्यालय परभणी डिस्ट्रिक्ट परभणी स्टेप नंबर वन ऑब्जर्व एंड एक्सप्लोर In this step, just we we will see a video in real life we can use linear equation in many situations for that here one activity is there activity number first in a classroom teacher bought a mango and apple and shows to students and explain about that prices teacher said shopkeeper did not give me the price of each fruit but he collected rupees 16 from him now teacher asked to students tell about the cost of each fruit students gave several answers like some student said rupees 3 is the cost of mango and 13 is the cost of apple like this the pairs of many costs cost is there like 5 5 and 11 6 and 10 7 and 9 and so on but all of that is not correct because we don't know the cost of each fruit that exact cost of each fruit is unknown for us now for that unknown quantity let us take a variable to find the cost of each fruit and consider the cost of one mango be x and cost of one apple be y so the sum of these two cost is 16 student knows the total cost that is 16 hence x plus y is equal to 16 this equation is formed now here this x plus y is the left hand side and 16 is the right hand side but here the degree of this variables is 1 the degree of x is also 1 and the degree of y is also 1 so this type of equation is called the linear equation in two variables now teacher plot this 
points on the graph paper and shows what will be the graphical representation of these points and the graphical representation of this equation is a straight line now this is also one reason to call this equations as a linear equation the equations is called the linear equation whose graph is straight line again till now we don't know the cost of each fruit because just we represent graphically for that one equation only now this activity continue further another student bought two mangoes and one apple from same shop and paid 22 rupees for it student knows unknown cost for a mango is x rupees and for an apple is rupees y so mathematical statement will be 2x plus y is equal to 22 again teacher asked about the cost of each fruit now can you tell ask to students can you tell me the cost of each fruit again student give several answers like rupees 3 is the cost of mango and 16 is the cost of apple if rupees 3 is the cost of mango then for two mangoes 6 rupees is there and that 6 and 16 is uh, 22 like that some pairs students told some pairs again teacher asked to plot these points on graph paper and see the graphical representation of this then on that same paper then we got another straight line and these two lines intersects in one point only and the coordinates of that intersection of that point is the answer of our question and the coordinates are x is equal to 6 and y is equal to 10 now x is equal to 6 means x is the cost of one mango and y is the cost of one apple that means student got the answer of cost of a mango is rupees 6 and the cost of an apple is rupees 10 that means to find the exact value of any quantity we need pair of a linear equation and the system of pair of this linear equation is called the simultaneous linear equation we can use this simultaneous linear equations in real life examples also now step number 2 define and prove in this step we will see some definitions first an equation in two variables x and y is said to be linear equation if it is of the form ax plus by plus c is equal to 0 where a b and c are real numbers that is a is not equal to 0 and b is not equal to 0 again the definition number 2 that is simultaneous linear equation when we consider two linear equations in two variables simultaneously then these equations are called simultaneous linear equation again when the solution of simultaneous linear equation if you put that the value of value of variables in that equation equations get satisfied and both the equations get satisfied simultaneously that's why this these equations are called simultaneous linear equation here to solve simultaneous linear equation there are some methods methods of solving simultaneous linear equations first one is the graphical method and second one is the algebraic method in algebraic method again there are three sub methods are there that elimination by substitution second one is elimination by equating the coefficients and third one is the determinant method we can say that is the cramer's rule now there are conditions of consistency of equations if a1x plus b1y plus c1 is equal to 0 and a2x plus b2y plus c2 is equal to 0 these are the two equations here a1 b1 c1 and a2 b2 c2 are the coefficients of in these two equations if you take the ratios of these coefficients in each condition we will get some conclusions if you take the ratio of a1 by a2 and compare it with b1 by ratio of b1 by b2 and if we get a1 by a2 is not equal to b1 by b2 
by getting this condition we can get the conclusions about the solutions about the graphical representation and about the consistency of this equation if a1 by a2 is not equal to b1 by b2 then the number of solutions for such equations is a unique solution and the graphical representation is intersecting lines and hence this type of equations are called consistent equations condition number 2 if a1 by a2 is equal to b1 by b2 but that that ratios are not equal to c1 by c2 then this type of equations has no solution and the graphical representation of such type of equation is a parallel lines and hence such type of equation is called inconsistent equations now condition number 3 if a1 by a2 is equal to b1 by b2 is equal to c1 by c2 that means the ratio of all coefficients are equal then such type of equations have infinitely many solutions and the graphical representation of such type of equations is the coincident lines that means overlapping lines and hence this type of equations is called the consistent equations now step number 3 apply and evaluate in this step we have some examples examples which are used in real life some solved examples are here and some examples for practice also here here example number first two digit number is three more than six times the sum of its digits if 18 is added to number obtained by interchanging the digits we get the original number we have to find that original number for the solution of this let us the digit in tens place bx and the digit in units place b y the original number become from these two digits that is 10 into tens place digit plus 1 into units place digit that means 10x plus y according to the first condition the equation became like this 10x plus y is equal to 6 in bracket x plus y plus 3 by solving this we will get 4x plus uh, 4x minus 5y is equal to 3 give it to equation number 1 now if the digits interchange the number gets res uh, reversed that means our number become like this 10y plus x now according to the second condition our equation become like this 10y plus x plus 18 that is equal to 10x plus y now solving first and second equations we will get x is equal to 7 and y is equal to 5 hence the original number is 75 this second equation is here madhulika and rita ran a 2 km race twice rita completed the first round 2 minutes earlier than madhulika but in second round madhulika increased her speed by 2 km per hour and rita reduced her speed by 2 km per hour madhulika finished 2 minute earlier than rita find their speeds of running in the first round to solve this example let's consider the speed of madhulika and rita let the speed of madhulika be x km per hour and the speed of rita be y km per hour here the comparison between speeds is given so calculate speeds comparison between the time is given that's why find the time taken by madhulika and time taken by rita so time required to complete that race for madhulika that is 2 by x and to rita that is 2 by y the difference between that time is 2 minute convert that minute into hours that's why our equation become like this 2 by x minus 2 by y is equal to 2 by 60 here by simplifying that we will get 60 in bracket y minus x is equal to xy now in second round madhulika increased her speed hence her speed now be x plus 2 km per hour and in second round rita reduced her speed now her speed become 
y minus 2 km per hour. According to second condition, 2 divided by y minus 2 minus 2 divided by x plus 2 is equal to 2 by 60. By solving this, we get again a simple equation that is 60 in bracket y minus x minus 2x plus 2y minus 4. Here, xy is equal to 60 in bracket y minus x. By substituting the values and calculating these, we will get two equations again that is x plus y is equal to 22 and x minus y is equal to minus by solving that we get x is equal to 10 by substituting that value in equation we get y is equal to hence the speed of moduli kilometer per hour and the speed of kilometer again some which are solved are now one example um, that is example Here see, we will see this example for practice. A railway, railway half ticket costs half the full fee, but the reservation charges are same on a half ticket as on full ticket. One passenger reserve for ticket from a station A to C is 2125 rupees. Also, one passenger reserve first class ticket and one reserve half ticket from station A to station B and for that rupees 3200 is the cost. Find the full fare from station A to station B and also find the reservation charges for the ticket. Here to solve this example, this is the example related with real life. Here let us consider the cost for full, full fare be rupees x and the reservation charges be rupees y. Here in first condition that is given one passenger reserved first class ticket from station A to B. That means for that the charges of full fare of rupees uh, x plus reservation charges because he reserved that ticket reservation charges y. That means the first equation become like this x plus y is equal to rupees 2125. Now for the second condition one passenger reserved first class ticket and again one reserved half first class ticket from A to B. In second condition for the first class ticket full fare charge is x but that is also reserved so x plus y. Again, one reserve half first class ticket that means the half fare of that is x by 2 but that is also reservation ticket hence x plus x by 2 plus y is equal to 3200 that means the equation become x plus y plus x by 2 plus y is equal to 3200 by solving these two equations we get the full fare that means the value of x is rupees 2100 and the reservation charges is rupees 25. Thanks.